Praise God and all of us, you are welcome for the topic Trusting God in Difficult Times by T.K. Shadow. Trusting means totally relying on God. I believe that God will do something for you without failure. Uh, I have a question. Does the Lord know anything about me? Yes, it's all known. Even in John 3.20. He knows everything. He existed before creation. I can remember the Holy Trinity, the God, the Holy Spirit. We have Jesus, the Son of God. Are you, you are energetic. Uh, again, you are very readily available when need arises. But sometimes you tend to hide behind closed doors without an absolute reason. And this will affect you in lowering your self-esteem. Participation in church activities. At times, it lowers even your academic performance. For this, you are not alone. God is watching. And here I have come with some of the ways that will help you to overcome that fear. That will help you to overcome that low self-esteem. Uh, you go through difficult times. You are rejected by the people that you love. You are rejected by the people that you put so much trust on them. And then, where to run to? You have to run to God. One, self-awareness. You must uh, this the ability to focus on yourself, to understand in and out of yourself. You have to know that there is a set of purpose for your life on earth. You remember Jonah? God asked Jonah, arise and go. Meaning that Jonah had a purpose to go and, and give a word to the people of Nineveh. Uh, the Lord sent him Jonah to Nineveh for a mission. You must understand that God is speaking to you in many ways. You have to listen to God's voice and be obedient. Some are being called to be leaders, teachers of the word, mentors, worshippers, ministers of word. And then there are pleasures of this world, the sins, that will hinder us from distinguishing the different voices that align the God's voice. So you have to understand the person that you are so that you continue trusting in God and not in materialistic things. Number two is God knows where you are. In difficult times, you ask yourself, does the Lord know that I am going through this? Yes, he knows. Have you been to the point of giving up? Thinking that God does not see what you are going through in such a job, for example, fees, career, partner, in all this, you should not doubt God. Believe in him to take you out of that situation. Youthful stage is a fight is a big figuring out stage for many things. Some can make you start cursing the name of the Lord, of which you are not supposed to do that. However, you should know that God is aware of your current state. Don't fail into sin. God knows that you are in difficult times. That's why I've come and say you have to trust in Him. Worry not about anything. You want you can't worship God and worry at the same time. You know when you worry, it makes you regret your old days, the days that you had a better life, as you are, can say, and that affects your bright future. You have to trust God and keep the faith in Him. In Psalms twenty verse seven. The Bible says, some trust in childhood, some trust in others, but those who know the Lord, they trust in Him. But we trust in the power of the Lord. The plan that we make, its actualization tends to give us a headache. What we plan at times may not come true. But at this point, we have to surrender to, uh, to God, not to worldly pleasures. Matthew 6, 31-33. So do not start worrying. Father knows that you need all these things. You have to be still and wait for God. In this point, seek his kingdom. The Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all other things shall be 
added to you. If you need peace, seek first the kingdom of God. If you need financial breakthrough, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Long to sing deeper for him. That he will reveal to you answers that all the mystery of life, God will answer. Number four, believe God to take you out of that. You should show totally dependence on God to make a way for you. Trusting God with all your heart, this will make possibilities out of the impossibilities. Luke 1 37, John 14 1 to 2. Do not let your heart be troubled, but believe there are good things that God has for you in store. Academic excellence, thriving in businesses, happy families, spiritual growth, self actualization, and many, many others. We should pray to God. Always in thanksgiving. First Thessalonians 5, 17 to 18. The Bible says, pray always in thanks to God. In conclusion, as we come into conclusion of this, we have to believe that, uh, I believe that you have had and trusted in the word of God. In whatever that you are going through, he is saying, I know it all, my son. I know it all, my daughter. Know yourself and stop doubting the Lord. The Lord is stop doubting me. Keep on the work of faith. Trusting God for a breakthrough. There is much greatness that awaits you. If you will not give up, Romans 8.31. If God is for us, then who can be against us? If God is for you, what kind of demonic plans will overcome your life? If God is for you, what peace, uh, who can take the peace that God will give you? God will change that trouble into victory. God will remove you from that difficulty in trusting him to more joyous in Jesus' name. Stay blessed and may the grace and peace of the Lord be with you forevermore. Amen. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you that you have taught us to trust in you in all times. Lord, I pray for the listener. I pray, God, that you will connect with his or her life and answer the prayers they are making. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray and believe. Amen.